What's going on guys? We're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I know I've been absent for a little while, but now I'm back. And um, I actually had something different planned for today. I wanted to do um, AG, which is Anything Goes. I wanted to just mess around in that, I guess if you can call it a metagame. But uh, the recent Giratina O announcement just completely destroyed any hopes of that happening because I immediately wanted to get into this, especially because the coil is so high. Um, I've, already, I've already played a few matches, I'm like a, a, around 300 coil. With this really easy PZ uh, team, uh, Gira Metagross is a really potent offensive core, I feel like. And then um, I just have Fairy Spam paired with it because Giratina O and Metagross are really good at luring in and um, eliminating or weakening certain steel, st steel types. So that gives the opportunity for my choice fairy types to come through. And as I go into this video and start getting matches, I'll go ahead and express my opinion on Giratina O dropping to OU because it really is a really complex issue. Um, I feel like Garchomp, Lee Chomp is really good. Right now, um, Outrage, after Stealth Rock Oko's other Giratina O's, uh, it's a really good anti-lead, Fire Blast kills a lot of the, again, like, Garchomp lures in a lot of those steel types, like Skarmory and Ferrothorn, that can, um, potentially wall Azumarill or Sylveon. So, this team is really based around, uh, luring things rather than having, like, straight-up counters. Because it'd be really easy to just, like, put in a Heatran here to counter all those steel types, but nobody's gonna stay in on, like, their Ferrothorn or their Skarmory on a Heatran. Whereas with Garchomp, they may feel a little bit more comfortable. And it provides, you know, like a Stealth Rock supporter. And um, Lumbery allows me to switch into to other Heatrans, so that's pretty um, pretty nice. Um, I figured I'd go full special with this Giratina Origin because it makes me a lot less vulnerable to burns. And it pairs a little bit better with Metagross. Uh, max speed, just because, uh, as expected, like Giratina Origin is on every team. So I gotta be... I gotta make sure I can outspeed those, and Raikou is basically like my bulky water killer. This makes sure this makes sure that Manaphy doesn't sweep me. Um, it makes Rotom W a little bit less potent against my team. Although I guess Giratina Origin also takes care of that. And I also have a pretty cool Sylveon set. Um, as you can see, I have Wish just because I didn't really see the need for like another attacking move or using hidden power for this team. And if I get knocked off, then I can actually use Wish and Baton Pass, which is really nice. Um, but, but while I still have choice specs, I can just spam Hyper Voice and Shadow Ball. That should be all the coverage I really need. Hyper Voice actually 2 it KO Skarmory, which is really nice. Um, and as you can see, like, I've really prepared my team for other Giratina O's. So without further ado, I think we're going to go ahead and just find a battle right away. Alright, so this guy's got a really cool looking team that is really vulnerable to Garchomp. I'm pretty sure I can just lead out with it. Although I'm also tempted to lead out with um, one of my fairies because he might lead out with Diancie and they commonly carry Protect. So I don't know. Metagross also puts in a lot, a lot of work versus this team. Uh, I could also go Giratina. But I think... Man, I just really don't want him leading off of Di with Diancie. That's the thing. I think I'm just gonna go... Because I don't have any switch-ins to this, that's the problem. Screw it, I'm gonna go um, Garchomp. Expecting him, if he wants... Yeah, ah, uh, man, yeah, he went for Diancie. So, I, I protect is his best play here, so I think I'm just gonna go into Azumarill. And fire off a knockoff because if he went for Moonblast here, okay, okay, that's cool. Um, another play I could make is going. Nah, I think knockoff is easily the best play here. And even if he like stays in and predicts something, I can just switch out, come uh, in later, and uh, go for Aqua Jets as he does go to Ferrothorn. I actually wish I, I probably should have. Superpower on this because getting rid of this would have been nice for my Sylveon. Um, I kind of want to go Giratina. I also don't have any hazard removal on this team. I didn't want to run Defog on Giratina Origin, and like I'm not too weak to, to hazards in general. I wasn't too worried about that when making this team. Yeah, I know. I should probably definitely have um, 
superpower on this because it's choice banded. Uh, I'll change that. Um, knockoff has rarely helped me, whereas this um, allows me to actually like it. Actually, is a good 50/50 for me with Ferrothorn. Because now I'm probably going to be forced back into Garchomp. And um, I did knock off its leftover, so that's pretty that's pretty crisp. And as he actually sets up spikes, that's kind of that's kind of bad. I actually want to go for Earthquake this first time because I suspect him to want to go into um, Diancy. And yeah, there's no reason for him not to go to Diancy actually. Yes. Get up out of here! That was a really ballsy uh, play for him, but uh, my most likely plays were easily Stealth Rock and Fire Blast, so that was a great play by me. That takes care of a huge, huge threat. As now he goes into a Giratina, a Giratina of his own, which is actually fantastic because I can just click Outrage, and it actually does an Oko, which I find completely ridiculous. Um, like, I actually. Ex oh, it does! Never mind. Maybe it's a. I guess it's a roll then, because. The last time I tried that, I didn't Oko. But that's great, because now I get even more damage on something else. Um, Ferrothorn doesn't have its leftovers anymore, so... It, any chip damage is good chip damage, and it's not like Ferrothorn can actually knock me out at this range of HP. Like, I guess he can just go for spikes again, but at this point, like, Metagross is a really big threat to his team. And once I, like, snap out of it... Um, oh yeah, even better, I still have my Lumberry intact. And here I can actually just go for Stealth Rock. I don't mind him. I don't mind him staying in. This gives me an easier time with Landorus T actually, because I can Aqua Jet it. So it's looking really, really good for me. Um, prevents Volcarona from really sweeping me. Okay, yeah, he got up his three layers, but honestly, that's not something I mind too much. It could bite me later, but um, like, like Giratina is such a threat to his team at this point because with Stealth Rock up, um, takes care of Bisharp. Yeah, I think Giratina just wins now, because Volcarona, after Stealth Rock, is not going to take a Shadow Ball or a Draco that easily. Uh, he goes into Landorus T, which is interesting. Um, I might just sack something I don't need at this point. Like, looking at my team, Sylveon's doing absolutely nothing, so I'm just going to sack that uh, to the U-turn or the Earthquake. And um, if he goes for Earthquake, then that's a free switch in for my... Giratina O. Um, that, that looks like scarf damage, but I, I can't really tell. Uh, yeah, I guess Giratina is easily my best play, and I think actually I'm debating whether Will O Wisp or Earth Power are my best plays. I could also just go for Shadow Ball. Um,. Yeah, I think Shadow Ball is actually my better play in this situation, in case he goes Volcarona. I could also go Draco Meteor here. Actually, yeah, I think Draco is my best play if he's Choice Locked. Because, yep, that is exactly why. Because, like, Volcarona is not a frail Pokemon on the special side, so I actually kind of doubt that Shadow Ball would have been able to take it out at that range. And here if he goes Bisharp, I just Will-O-Wisp it, and um, I could just Earth Power actually, even if he's SD, which is like the worst case scenario. Um, I still have Aqua Jet from my Azumarill, so this is really only bad if I miss right here. Which I'm hoping doesn't happen. Uh, and I could still very well lose, okay, is he SD? He is not. I'm gonna preserve this because this helps me out a lot against. I, I might as well just sack Metagross at this point because it's not helping me against Lander Asterion. And what I don't want happening is him uh, sweeping me with Earthquake late game, especially because he has all those spikes up, which are really problematic. And here, like, I think Hammer Arm is my best play at this point. Like I said, I don't care about uh, Lander Asterion, but he stays in. Goes for Sucker Punch, doesn't get the KO, so that's really unfortunate for him. Um, so now it's impossible for him to win because he has to, he can't lock himself into Earthquake. But regardless, I'm just going to stay in and go for Meteor Mash in case he's some kind of double dance variant, which I kind of doubt. 
Um, yeah, Meteor Match is easily my best play. Metagross and Giratina go together really well because Metagross gets rid of all the really common fairy types. And in general, it's a really good Pokemon. Um, oh yeah, I, I said I was going to talk about what I thought about the suspect test. I think it's a really... I appreciate... I, I definitely appreciate this... this uh, this turn that the OU Council has taken, um, you know, trying to um, take the suspect process in a new direction, try out new approaches to balance the OU metagame, because right now it's not really that great, but um, I think Giratina O is a little bit too much to be worth it. It's a really solid Pokemon, because um, see, what I fear will happen is it'll become like Primal Groudon in Ubers. Like, what I don't want happening is... Um, where Giratina Origin is justified on every team, and every serious team has to have a Giratina O, and teams without Giratina O are probably better with Giratina O on them somewhere. That's what I don't want. So I feel like a, like this is the crossroads where we get to choose whether we want a team, like a team preview based metagame, or a centralized metagame around this Pokemon here. Um, I would I would rather choose the former to be honest, just because I there's just this illusion that just because we're suspecting Giratina O now and it was our first choice or the OU Council's first choice and for good reason too, like it patches up a lot of OU's um, problems right now. Like it um, it's kind of a, a blanket check to a lot of the things that are making OU stale right now. I just don't think that it's a must. To drop it just because it was the first Pokemon we've con we considered, for good reason. Like I said, um, as I've been playing with it, it's just a, a little bit too overwhelming. I think with its combination of like move pool and stats, like it's so its raw bulk is just so overwhelming. Like that's the thing people were complaining about with Metagross, and um, this is a lot of the same thing. And it's all like 90 is a bad speed to be at I like it's not fantastic but with this kind of bulk and offensive prowess it's not bad either um like it does too much in one move in one team slot and I get that that was kind of the point but I just feel like this crosses a line where is it really worth it to patch a, a few holes in the metagame um and then in return centralize it over this one Pokemon it's like trying to cure cancer with a tumor, to put it a little bit more harshly. I just feel like we should explore other options first. Um, like it's not the end of the world if we drop it, but I just feel like we might end up suspe suspecting it back into Ubers a lot sooner than we might think. So, okay, Lead Chomp is pretty natural against this guy's team. I can just lead with it. Uh, survives any hit except from maybe the Thunderous, and I can just I can either Rocks or Fire Blast the Skarmory. Um, this is definitely looking like some kind of Custap thing. And he doesn't have a Rapid Spinner, so... I think Stealth Rocking here is fine. Actually, I don't want him to get up too many spikes, so I'm gonna go for Fire Blast this first time. So generally, I'm... Okay, never mind. I guess the, um... I forgot the Cancel button doesn't work. So... In summary, I'm leaning towards keeping Giratina O in... In Ubers. And uh, finding a different approach, finding maybe some either if it's whether it's something else to drop, or just suspecting other things like Landorus Eye or even Keldeo. Um, and I can just go for Fire Blast again here. Unfortunately, he is gonna get a, like a lot of hazards up. Like hazard stacking teams are getting really common. I'm actually kind of regretting not having any kind of um, any kind of uh, hazard control, especially because like my two wall breakers are really slow. And they're taking all of that hazard damage any time, every time they come in. But at the same time, Garchomp just kind of tears through his team. Um, wow, I'm surprised. He actually went straight into into Thunderous here. Uh, so I think easily the best play here is going into Raikou. Uh, Raikou's also... He doesn't have any ground types, so I can just Volt Switch away. And if he wants to go back into Giratina, then... Is he... Oh, he's Leftovers. That's interesting. And I'm also faster than a lot of his team. So I actually think Thunderbolt might be a, a good play. Um, in case he wants to stay in for some reason. And like, I have a decent switch into this, which is um, Sylveon, and I guess Azumarill. 
Uh, not a lot of these are running steel moves, so I'm I feel pretty safe just going into Sylveon and firing off an attack. I could even go for BP actually, expecting Metagross, but then again, like I, I like having Metagross weakened. Okay, so goes for Dragon Pulse. I'm gonna go for BP because I don't want to give him a free Mega with Metagross. And if he if he makes the switch to Metagross and I BP into Giratina O, then like I'm in oh what? Why would you stay in there? Never mind. Well I'm still inside because this is a max speed Giratina O, and he's got no switch ins. Like Bisharp is not a counter to this. It just gets Will-O-Wisp and it's over. So <laughs> that's that's kind of um so now I'm inside. Uh, I got Giratina weakened to the point where Shadow Ball knocks it out. Like I said, this isn't a counter because I can go for Will-O-Wisp. You know what? I might actually just be able to go for Earth Power because I don't expect him to want to go f I don't expect him to go for Sucker Punch, actually. So I'm going to go for Earth Power. And even if he does go for Sucker Punch, like, it doesn't kill me. It's... Wow, he actually went for it. I could have just gone for... I could have gone for um, Will-O-Wisp there and avoided all kinds of damage. So that's a little bit unfortunate because now this isn't a check to. Uh, now this is my last switch in the Stealth Rock and Keldeo just comes in. So that's a little bit unfortunate. So I, I can't let this Metagross Mega Evolve or else that could spell some problems for me. In general though, I think. Ah, Sylveon got so weakened. Like. I, I gotta. <laughs> I gotta remind myself that I can't just make be making plays all over the place in the uh, lower ladder because like he stayed in with his Giratina there. I don't understand that, but okay, uh, I, I can just go for, actually no, that's a stupid play. If he's like sub CM, uh, I can just go for Shadow Ball, but nope, doesn't seem, he is actually substitute, but. Um, I feel like Raikou is relatively free here because Giratina is weakened. I like Raikou because it has Shadow Ball, so it can actually do something to Giratina O. Unless, of course, it has Shadow Sneak, which actually wouldn't surprise me. Um, and as he does go into Giratina, I'm debating whether I want to... What did he reveal earlier? He has Shadow Ball? <sighs> does he really have both Shadow Sneak and Shadow Ball? I kinda... Wow, he does. Uh... A little bit unfortunate for me. Not gonna lie. Uh, I already have my rocks up. I think it's time for Metagross to get inside. See, I don't. This is hard because if I if I switch in my Metagross, I just let his Metagross Mega Evolve, which. Is awful so either I have to get like an attack boost and he has shadow sneak what am I thinking but at least I'm inside now um, versus like his wait oh I'm stupid uh, <laughs> I don't get the 110 speed right off the bat so awful play on my part I should I should have just gone into a zoom room I don't know why I was preserving it the hazards really bit me in the end Maybe, maybe I should have something with Taunt on this team. Does Giratina Origin get Taunt? Oh, I probably would have run Defog on it anyway. I'm not confident in Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet doesn't kill. Like, it's so bad. But I, I think I still think it's my best play. Even if it only 2 it KOs him because... I made a lot of like questionable plays. Like if I would gotten rid of this thing when I had Sylveon inside... Um, that probably, I think that was the deciding play, because now this thing, like, this thing is destroying me, what is, I don't have a chance at this, because the hazards were killing me, so, I think I'll just forfeit. In fact, it has Shadow Sneak, too. Shadow Sneak is so powerful coming from this thing, even, like, like, that was especially oriented Giratina, and Shadow Sneak did, still did a ton to me. Um, also, like, going for Will-O-Wisp. Not going for Will-O-Wisp on the Bisharp also came back to bite me because then I couldn't beat the Keldeo afterwards. Um, I really didn't think he'd go for Sucker Punch, but he did. So, either he predicted me or he went for the safe plays and it worked out for him. Um, but I think we're going to get another match. 
Like, see, that's what I mean. Like, I was, I wasted he, that. That Giratina wasted like three of my Pokemon in a row, including one that's supposed to check it, which was my Azumarill. But regardless, I would have lost if I had gone for Play Rough. Then the Thunderous just came in and ruined me. Um, it's got a Magnezone. That's really interesting. It really doesn't have a lot for Metagross. Um, I kind of want to lead off of it, actually. Mega Evolve right away. If he wants to lead off with um, Giratina, like that's that's okay with me. As he goes into this, like Metagross gets a gets a damage on anything, including his own Metagross, which. Um, okay, so he elects to stay in. Interesting. Okay, so that's banded. That is definitely banded. Does Grass not kill this? I kind of want to. I'm gonna do a Calc. Um, Mega, because that's like my only 100% accurate move on this set. Azumarill. Although getting rid of Azumarill right off the bat is nice. Okay, I kill. Um, no matter what, that's hasty, but still. Uh, and I'm not hasty. I'm jolly. Goes in the zone. Ooh, he's making plays out here, just in case he's not. Ha! He's actually not. Okay, never mind. He is um. Magnet Pony. He's probably Scarf too. There would be no other reason to s switch into me. So. That was a good play on my opponent's part. Um, I didn't have a switch into this, to be honest. Maybe I should have switched into Giratina instead. Because I, I probably could have taken that hit. Comfortably. Uh, so then, what's his Stealth Rock Setter? I, I wonder. Maybe it's his own Metagross? Um. I really have to be careful about this this Chansey now. Um, Azumarill is going to be a huge player in this game. So he actually goes out into Conk. That's okay because uh, Azumarill is pretty much a counter. I don't want to send in Sylveon because that's kind of a free Mega Evolution for his uh, Metagross. Whereas, um, okay, he just sacks his own Azumarill, so that's really nice for me. Uh, if he goes into Magnezone here, I can easily just go into Raikou and Volt Switch on anything. If he goes into Chansey, like, I get free rocks on Chansey. But he actually goes into this. Interesting. Um, Giratina O is not a counter to this. At the same time, like, I don't, I don't want Azumarill particularly weakened. Giratina might be the play. Or Garchomp. Garchomp, no, Garchomp's not a counter to this. This thing is so stupid, I hate it. <laughs> now, now that I'm playing like in a in a metagame where Gyrodross is so common, um, I'm gonna do two lives with this in this suspect test and the rest I'll pro What? See, look at that! That's absurd! That's absurdity. I probably should have sacked Azumarill. No, I couldn't because he has freaking Chansey. The fact that it does 55. Holy crap. But he switches out for some reason. I don't understand that. Because now I can just switch in Garchomp and go for rocks, which is really going to help me. Oh, this is a Stealth Rocker. Okay. I guess that's cool. Um, so we already know this thing is Scarfed, but it can't do anything to Garchomp. So, he has Wish. That's interesting. Uh, I, I can't imagine what he's gonna wish into. Okay, that's that's cool, I guess. I can just Sylveon is completely free here. I could actually Baton Pass, but this sucks because Giratina is so low. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up losing this goddamn game. This were Ice Punch. There's a respectable amount. Uh, I actually want a baton pass because why do you have a Chansey? This is like the most offense. This is a really offensive team. He's this man's got a Chansey. I can't believe this. So here it's kind of a 50-50 whether he goes into Giratina or whether he goes into Metagross. I think he's gonna go into Metagross. So see, this is this is where knockoff would probably be useful, but eh, whatever. Um. 
I have one switch in to Giratina, whereas I don't have any with Metagross. So I'm gonna go for a Waterfall. Weakening uh, Metagross is a little bit more beneficial to me than weakening Giratina. As uh, so he actually stayed in, I get a crit and he um, manages to go for Wish. I'm okay with this because if he switches out, his Chansey is dead. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm fine with this actually. Um, yeah, this is perfect because I, I weaken his Metagross for Raikou and I get his Chansey out of the way. So I got a lot of value out of Azumarill and I still have Sylvia on the check. Can Kelder and I guess like Giratina to an extent. If you flinch me, I swear. God, thank you. Um, now Garchomp is about to put in a lot of work. Definitely, yeah. I don't know if uh, if um. Let me check. If Fire Blast kills. Um, it's a roll, and it's not one that I want to take, especially because Giratina dies to Outrage. I could go Raikou. What is this thing at? Oh, this thing's actually at a pretty good amount. I think I can win this game. Um, I can bring this back. I can bring this back. So, how much does Raikou actually do with Thunderbolt? To not Cartron, but to Mega Metagross. Um, it's a roll in my favor, so I'm gonna. Oh, I have Shadow Ball too, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, cool, cool, because Chansey dies to Stealth Rocks, and Shadow Ball hits everything. Yeah. So, he's gonna, ch he's gonna sack Chansey, which is really awesome for me. Yeah, really awesome. Uh, as he goes to Kelder, that's... Okay. I can deal with this, because... <sighs> My win condition is easily going to be Garchomp at this point. So I actually kind of want to sack this and get Sylveon in safely. Like my win condition is Guard Tromp outraging, but his Magnezone is still really healthy. Metagross is healthy. Like as, as soon as I get rid of Metagross, and but the thing is, like all these Pokemon lose one v one to Guard Tromp, but I can't go for outrage on okay. So I'm thinking I might just want to go for damage here and sack, basically sack Raikou. If he wants to go for, I don't know what he could go for predicting. Yeah, he goes for knockoff, pretty solid. Which means if he goes for knockoff again, I'm still in a decent position. Do I want to, do I want to sack um, Sylveon at this point? How much did, this, did Ice Punch do to me last time? It's probably going to kill, actually. Uh, he could go for a fighting type move this time. He could go for a mock punch, which would actually be really nice. Yeah, I, I I just wasn't sure if I wanted to save Raikou because it does a lot of work to his team, bar Magnezone. Magnezone is the thing that is ruining me right now. Ah, he went for Drain Punch. Fantastic. Do I want to go for Shadow Ball? That's the question. Yeah, I think I want to go for Shadow Ball. Because if this it puts him in range of... Oh, he has Mach Punch. What am I thinking? Okay, I have to do more calcs now. Uh, so, because I'm playing badly, this Kinkelder is causing me a lot more trouble than it probably should. Uh, Mach Punch, this 30 to 35. What am I... At? Oh... Fuck. Um, so I guess now it's time to calc how much Garchomp does to this. I need a really high roll. Why don't I have anything that actually does something to this? Ugh. That's really irritating. Gira Giratina. Please tell me Draco kills from this range. Wow. Oh wait, I don't have Griseus Orb. Ah, okay. That still does nothing. 
See, Outrage will probably knock it out, but I need... Yeah, I'm, I've been playing really badly. I should have just gone into Sylveon from the get-go. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. If he's... I'm, I'm gonna count on him being dumb and uh, not going for Mach Punch here, but he does. What is this assuming? Yeah, this is max but def. So maybe he, if he's max HP, I might be able to knock him out. <sighs> Draco Meter is doing nothing to this. It's so stupid. Um, especially because I have Outrage on this. I could still win if Outrage, if I get cured from Outrage. But I'm just gonna go for Draco Meteor. Hope for a crit or something. Yeah, I didn't knock him out, but at least now, at least now I can knock him out with Earthquake. Except he's probably just going for Mach Punch, but yeah. Metagross most likely kills me. Which is really unfortunate. So does Magnezone. If, yeah, Scarf Magnezone. I do not know. He probably shouldn't have gone for this because... Oh, he has Ice Punch. Lovely. So, I would have lost anyway. Yeah. His Metagross is so ridiculous. Um, I didn't realize Meteor Match would do that much to Giratina Origin. But, like, again, this really isn't about winning every game as much as it is about just um, getting the coil. Like, right now I'm 7-2, but I have 724 coils, so I'm definitely getting up there. Um, I'll probably do one more. I don't know if I want to change anything on this team. Like, I do realize Meta like other Metagross are really putting a damper on my performance, which kind of makes me want to run Earthquake, but nah. Nah. Like that was a like ice punch is not a, a really uh, an orthodox choice like it's not uncommon either but in general like I should be checking it just fine God it's just way too bulky um I'm wondering if I want to change Raikou but I don't think I do just because when I do get higher up on the ladder I'm gonna start seeing a lot, a lot more like Manaphy maybe a zoom uh stuff like that and I don't want to get swept by it or like star me for example uh, what I may end up doing is changing the Skiratina maybe it's like a physical variant like I don't want to be vulnerable to like um, scald burns that's the thing or anything like that but um and also that can kill gave me a lot more trouble than it probably should have I think if I had volt switched into Sylveon to begin with and taken the knockoff then uh, I probably had a chance of still surviving the mock punch that came after, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna—I think I'll find one more game and hopefully win this time, and then we'll finish off this live next time. Um, oh, I think I mentioned something about doing two lives with the suspect ladder. The second time, I'm gonna try using a team without Giratina. Oh, this team—that team looks disgusting. Um, and I actually want to try out like a, maybe Pokemon that I consider anti-meta. Like I'm gonna let this ladder develop a little bit more before um, before trying out any like anti-meta options without Giratina O. But for now, I wanted to try Giratina O. So this is a really disgusting-looking stall team. <laughs> I, what, what the fuck is this? Um, I'm guessing maybe Heatran's the Stealth Rocker. I, he doesn't have much to get rid of. Like, I get, maybe this could have Defog? So, I can just set up Stealth Rock. I have a Lumberry, so if he wants to go for um, Sleep Powder, I'm okay with this. Okay, yeah, cool. Because I can just go for Stealth Rock. Oh, this is. He actually has Toxic. What? <laughs> um, so, looking at his team, Gliscor is probably physically defensive, which. Is fantastic for my Giratina. 
Like it's gonna be annoying regardless, but at least with this, I can start I can start whittling his team. So v Mega Venus sort of toxic. Like I said, the ladder is still very under undeveloped, and I tend to be on the lower part of it just because I got my only two losses on camera, of course. Um, but I mean that's fine. It's about getting the coil. Um, he goes into Heatran. That's interesting. He's not showing leftovers, so I'm thinking this is Scarfed. And I do not want to risk that. I already got my Stealth Rocks up, so I don't actually know how valuable Garchomp will be to this game. And Giratina is definitely a lot more valuable, I think so. Um, yeah, I, I definitely don't want to stay in, in this situation. I think Giratina can pretty much take this thing on comfortably. Like, actually no, I want to go in. I want to go into Garchomp because I don't want him getting in his Chansey. I don't, that's my game plan. So, my only purpose is to scare away Heatran. I think Garchomp does that the best. Yeah, he's overheat. That actually does a huge chunk. So his best switches are Venusaur, maybe Rotom Wash. A score. So I'm thinking something that can take care of all three of those. So I think maybe now I can go Giratina. Or I can go Sylveon. Even better. I have Baton Pass on this. So I'm just forcing him to take more Stealth Rock damage. Okay, yeah. That's what I'm, that's just what I'm going to do. So that's Scarf Tran, which is really interesting on Stall. I'll give him that. I'll give him that much. I'm going to go for Baton Pass. If he wants to stay in and go for Willow, that's fine. I can just go into my Raikou and Volt Switch. Um, if he goes into Chansey or Heatran, that's a free switch for Metagross. So yes, this, he um, he went into exactly the threat that I wanted him to go into. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, I'm still gonna go for the uh, I'm gonna go for Z for the Zen Headbutt play because it hits pretty much everything. And I'm, even if he wants to switch in the Heatran again, I'm whittling it down because it doesn't have any, probably doesn't have any bulk investment. So right now, this is looking pretty easy peasy for me. And see if he wants to switch in Rotom Wash, that's what happens. That's why I went for Zen Headbutt over Meteor Mash. So really, really good stuff. I'm, oh my god, no. Are you kidding me? That was the one miss I... I <laughs> Why? And like, see, now he's gonna go for Pain Split, and that's just terrible. <sighs> the one, like, hacks I didn't need happening. If I just gotten that Zen Headbutt off... Okay, whatever. I, I can still salvage this. Um, I don't know why... I would've stayed in and go for Pain Split, but he elects to go into Gliscor instead, which is a, a really interesting option. Um, I don't know if I want to sack this just yet because this can still be useful. Even burnt, it hammer on will do a hell of a lot to his uh, Chansey. So I think Azumarill is easily my best play here. I don't think Earthquake should two it kill me, and um, I can start whittling his. Yeah, this can still be useful against um, Venusaur. Goes for Protect, which I guess is really interesting. Waterfall hits up just about everything. Um, It'll do a decent chunk to Rotom Wash. Uh, like, the one thing is, like, I don't have anything to fodder to Pain Split. I don't know if he even has Pain Split, to be honest, actually. But here, this will allow me to go into Metagross. Yeah, now this is a problem. Uh. But he goes for Toxic yet again, which is unusual. Like, I don't know why he's refusing to go for any kind of recovery. See, like, it now he goes back into Gliscor. I don't understand this. But, okay, whatever. This just means I can go back and do a zoom row. Um, and like I said, this is looking like... Actually, I don't know. This seems like a little bit too much. Oh, he has a U-turn. That's actually really cool. But, I I'm not gonna knock it. But that does just mean he's taking more and more Stealth Rock. I don't want to have this burn, or he's going into Venusaur as opposed to Rotom, which leads me to believe he's not he's not Pain Split, which not gonna lie that helps me out quite a bit. So I can just go into Metagross. Um, 
He's probably gonna go for synthesis this time, yeah. But, um... Now, I think I can just go into Giratina because... I, he, I haven't revealed my moveset, so I could still very well be a threat to his... But he goes for Protect, okay, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna knock it. I think Shadow Ball is probably my best play. Uh, Seagulls for Toxic, which I guess isn't a big deal. Judging by the Shadow Ball damage, I don't- will Draco kill? I think I have to go for it. I think I do. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it'll KO. I don't know if that Shadow Ball was a lower roll. Yes, I get rid of the Venusaur, which was arguably the biggest threat to my team because Metagross unfortunately got burned because I missed that headbutt. But, you know, I guess that's the risk you take. Uh, right now... Oh. Okay, he goes into this, which is fine. Because I can just go into... I could probably fodder off Metagross here, to be honest. I don't particularly want him wish passing to anything. Or I could go into Azumarill. I think I'll go into Azumarill. Because from there I can actually just go for play rough and get a kill. As he actually goes for Stealth Rock, very interesting stuff. So now play rough is completely free. Uh, I get a kill, um, almost guaranteed. Unless that happens. Please. The worst that can happen here is, like, he'll go into Volcarona and he gets the Flame Body Burn. <laughs> I can already see it happening. Um, and I'm Choice Bandit, so... He's gonna be at, like, 50-something percent. But he goes into Rotom anyway. <laughs> okay, I would've thought he would've gone into, like, Volcarona or something, or maybe Heatran. I guess he does- he probably doesn't know I'm Choice Bandit yet, so... I'm not gonna knock him for that. So... If he goes Gliscor, then I think my best play might just be might just be Sylveon because I I would imagine he'd want to go for Protect or Roost or something of the sort, and he's probably physically defensive. But he goes for Toxic, which is a fair play. Um, I think I can just go for Hyper Voice. Not sure though. He's probably going to Protect here. Um, Actually, I don't think it matters at this point, because as soon as Azumarill comes in, something dies. Because I, at this point, I can spam Waterfall. So, I think the game is basically over. Uh, even if he, if he wants to switch in to Heatran here... Um, yeah, he goes back into Chansey. So, now something dies. So, now you gotta pick your sack, buddy. Chansey dies, this dies, this dies, this dies. Why do you have three water weak Pokemon in a stall team? Or I guess it's like this is like semi stall. This is a scarf train, which is really interesting. And this is like a late game sweeper, which does nothing to my team because I have Giratina. Um Oh, got your HP a little bit messed up, buddy. Um I don't want this thing setting up on me, but at the same time. Uh I don't want him Giga Draining me. Which, does that kill? I don't think that should kill. And even if it does kill me, he's at 50%. And I can just send in like my Giratina or my Raikou and just pelt him with attacks. As uh, that doesn't do anything. So now if that dies, um, I'll probably want to switch out if he goes into Heatran because. Okay, he forfeited. The game was over because at that point I just spammed Aqua Jet. So pretty interesting game against an unorthodox semi-stall team. So that was 44 minutes. Two wins, two losses. Um, eh, I guess that's okay. I was doing a lot better earlier. Like I said, I think now I'm 8 and 2. But that doesn't matter as much as the coil matters. I'm almost at 1,000, so that's pretty decent. Um... Yeah, so, I, I, I'm, I don't know. I want to say I'm more on the fence, but if I had to choose one or the other, I would keep this thing uber. I don't think it's worth it. Or I think it's worth, um, I, I understand why 
the OU cancel considered this first, but look at see look at this. <laughs> and it's not like the typing is all that bad either. Like it doesn't even care about knockoff. It knockoff did if knockoff actually did full power against Griseus Orb, then maybe I would be in favor of it dropping, but right now it's just a little bit too much. So I'm gonna end it off on that note. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoyed.